All right, today we're going to look at playing a MIDI file in Reaper. So we're going to er insert the MIDI file from my collection. It's a Brooks and Dunn tune. It's entitled Red Dirt Road. It's a professional file. We're going to leave all the defaults where they are. We're not going to change them. We're going to import the MIDI file into Reaper. And this goes for any type, any general MIDI file. So all the tracks have loaded up here. And now we're going to add a plugin. A Cakewalk plugin called the TTS-1, which will provide all the MIDI sounds that we need. It's very easy to play a MIDI file in Reaper using this method. So we're going to go to the FX tab and we're going to add this plugin. And this plugin comes free with Cakewalk by BandLab. So if you download these two programs, you're going to have this plugin. And both of these programs are free, but uh, I urge you to uh, buy Reaper. It's a wonderful program for recording. So you simply left click and hold that down and add that plugin to every track. Takes less than a minute. And these can be uh, edited as well. Well, that'll be for another video. I just want to show you how easy it is to play a MIDI file in Reaper using this method. Now we're going to close down all the plug-in windows that pop up. Just get them out of the way. Then we're going to come back to the MIDI file. We'll give this a listen. So there it is, a MIDI file is playing. Let's take a look at uh, changing the colors on these tracks. Real easy to do. Just highlight the first track and hold down Shift. Come down to Track Color, Random Colors. And they're quite bright as you can see. But you can soften those up quite easily. Just go down to Themes, click on Theme Adjuster, and just this warm color here scheme. Click on Recolor Project, and there you have it. Very simple to do. We'll take a look at this file a little closer. The thing I want you to see is these, this uh, MIDI file is coming in at 136 beats per minute. So we'll get rid of that other one by holding the Alt, alt key and just clicking it and getting rid of it. And we'll change the very first marker to 136 beats per minute. And there you have it. Within a couple of minutes, you're playing a MIDI file in Reaper. And the sounds are excellent to get you going. And this will work with any general MIDI file. You can take it a step further by uh, tweaking all of these sounds if you wish, but these are the default settings in this file. So there you go, that's how you play a standard general MIDI file using Reaper and the free plugin that's found in Cakewalk by BandLab. That's Europa Man over and out.